So really quick, I'm going to show you how to tell the tonnage uh, of a filter dryer. Got Simeon today, I was about to explain it to him and thought I would explain it to everyone else too. So this is a pretty typical filter dryer. This one has a 3 8 inch uh, copper connection that you solder, or braze actually. You can see right there, just got a blue cap, pull that off and you can braze it into your line set. Um, and the model number of this particular one is EK-083S. Now there's a lot of different models out there and I think different companies use different models. This one's Emerson as you can see. And they should have a chart on there that has your model listed. So this is the chart. They have all the different models listed for this particular chart. So what you do is find your model, which is again our 083S right there. And then we're going to follow this column down. So 3 8 ODF, which is solder. They also have SAE, which is uh, threads. Um, and then you can look for your different refrigerants. So if you're using R12 or 134A, this would be good up to two tons. Uh, R22 or 407A or 410A. For refrigeration, low temp, and commercial installations, it would be good up to three. For air conditioning, field replacement, and field installations, this little 083S is good up to five tons of cooling. And uh, that's what we're actually going to be doing today, is installing this in a big five ton air conditioner that cools a little building. So this one is going to be good enough for our particular use. Anyway, that is how you tell if your filter dryer is the right size. Hope you found this helpful. Talk to you later.